Legendary linebacker Dave Robinson is at a clinic in Bethesda, Maryland, doing something he seldom did as a Hall of Fame player, lying down. You glad you did this? I'm, I'm, I'm apprehensive right now. <laughs> Robinson is taking his first dive in a hyperbaric chamber. While the FDA approves hyperbaric oxygen treatment, or HBOT, for 14 conditions, it has yet to approve it for treating brain injuries, even though 17 peer-reviewed studies show HBOT can heal injured brains. Dr. Joe Maroon, a neurosurgeon for the Pittsburgh Steelers, says HBOT works. It reduces inflammation in the body and also helps promote the formation of stem cells that can differentiate into new brain cells. It's an important breakthrough because doctors now say brain injuries are at the center of countless cases of depression and death, tied to suicides, including military veterans and professional athletes. Dave Robinson, who helped lead the Green Bay Packers to victory in Super Bowls one and two, was known for his aggressive tackling, but he took a lot of hits too. How many concussions do you think you had? Oh, more than you have fingers and toes. Concussions left Robinson foggy about the games he played in. I can talk to you and, and everything we said, DeMar, forget most of it. That's not what's fair. Robinson found out about HBOT here at the Pro Football Retired Players Association, where he and other Hall of Famers, including Mike Singletary, Mike Haynes, Ron Mix, and Billy Joe Dupree, are on the board of directors. Who's had a concussion? Show me. I visited the board at a meeting in Arlington, Virginia. It was clear concussions remain a top priority. Who worries about the long-lasting effects of all those concussions that you've received, even if it's just one? Are you worried? Yeah. HBOT experts are on the agenda a lot here. Because I've done it. Another Hall of Famer, former Buffalo Bills lineman Joe DeLamalure, says he got his life back after HBOT. I can't believe that everybody isn't doing it. The issue? Insurance won't pay for the treatments yet. And like most NFL players who played before 1993, Robinson doesn't receive enough in his monthly pension to pay for the treatments he needs. Executive Director Bob Schmidt is leading a push to get the NFL to provide regional HBOT clinics where current and retired players can get HBOT for free. I think if I can play a small part to accelerate that, that's where I want to be. For Robinson... How was it, Dave? Pretty good. I wasn't bad at all. The path to healing has finally begun. You liked it? I enjoyed it. But at 78 years old, this famed footballer knows he's racing against the clock. I don't want to get to that point where I don't recognize my friends and don't know where I am. The other football stars on the board all voted to undergo HBOT 2. They say they're doing it to prove it works. I'm Dwayne Pullman for Spotlight on America.